Hey there guys, this is my hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 9. I'm so clanky with Steiner or Steiner. So we arrived in Treno, we did some stuff but not a whole lot of stuff, but I bought a lot of cotton robes and stuff, so stuff, stuff and stuff. By the way, I kinda had to do I guess the previous video stuff over because you know that friendly creature I met outside? That I forgot to do, do that on the first try, so eh, there's not a lot of, a lot of dif differences, but I had to give Celeste a new rod or racket or something because she mastered everything on her mithril or Maltina racket, but we'll get into that later on when we have her back, if we have her back, if she doesn't die, that is. She might die. Let's see here, Confusion. I think that is the one we want to watch. So let's watch Confusion. Psychic attack, 50 base power. This is not a very nice city. Of course not. Like It looks like... I mean, there's cats here. Uh, better find super soft fans and get back to Alexandria. So, I wonder why you're here in Treno. Like, why don't you just go straight to Alexandria? Oh yeah, uh, drunken... A uh, drunkard, yeah. I, I don't know. You may find a super soft in the, in the drunkard's stomach and all, since, you know, this drunkard is all drunk and all. His stomach must be all soft, otherwise he'll be throwing up. Excuse me, ever hear the thing, thing called a super soft? <laughs> My wife, she died three years ago! No, I'm looking for an item that cures all preservation. Oh, you mean my penis? I mean, I'm for doing fine, but thanks for asking. It made me old, but I'm still healthy. Uh, yeah. You're so young. Don't give up. Good luck. Ah, uh, see now, old fools. Fools. Emphasis on fool. What are you doing here? Who are you? New card. That sounds fascinating. Card stadium. What the heck? Why would they devote an entire stadium to card games? Jeez, this is children's card games. Next thing you know, you're gonna have motorcycles inside. <sighs> Whatever, who cares? It's not as if you're gonna like save the world with card games or anything like that. Let's watch the meeting place one. Hey, there's everything okay? Oh, what the heck are you talking about? Oh, uh, yeah, you should know him, right? So I guess the tantalus thieves are. Oh. Hey, what's up, Baku? I was about to say, Tanda seems to be familiar with Limbloom, Alexandria, and Treno. You light. A lot, a lot happened. I'm kind of tired. Who cares? You're ready to go. Oh, this. Oh, you found a super soft. Wasn't it like a legendary relic? Okay, so it is something that's real. And it's in Treno, too. Two liabilities. You mean Steiner and Celeste. I guess you mean one liability. This guy. Jeez. Look at him being on clank, 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 clank. Oh, hey, it's a Moogle. Hey, what's up? Hey, drunkard. Nobles. Nobles are loving a life of luxury by the sea. While I'm drunk, living on the streets. Living in a pineapple under the sea. Life stinks. Tough. Should have gotten a job. I don't know. Like, when you see homeless people, you kind of feel sorry for them. But at the same time, it makes you wonder. Sometimes it it's complicated because some... Sometimes they just want to be there, you know, in the situation. Stiltskin? Oh, this goes. I guess he must have given me. What's up with Stiltskin's letter? There's trouble in this random city. The girls I saw them were heading towards the Fubi Desert. Most of them were messy. Then we find sandstorms. What can I possibly want? I'm going to follow them and see. Are you, gonna f are you following the uh, Alexandrians? Like Queen Braun and maybe even Kuja? Fubi Desert is so far away. Stiltskin's amazing. Come on! Oh, that's so cute. Anything else? Uh, nope. Okay. Okay, I guess you're not doing anything for Mognet. Fine. Oh, active time event. What's up here? Unexpected visitor. Hmm, huh, this isn't a required... This is a required AT. So this is the auction house which I'm about to go to. So last year behind the times. Baku already found a super soft and it's owned by a... Hey. That's a familiar face. We've seen it before, haven't we? Maybe if we see the lower half of his body, we may be able to recognize him. Why did I pay you 5,000 gifts to buy a piece of junk like that? Yeah, it's not junk. That's what they all say when they lower their pants. Anyway, so... as There should be an item here. Money! Money, 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 money. It's going to take a lot of money. A whole lot of spending money. Oh, hey, Celeste, what's up? Princess, thank goodness I was found you. I was worried. How, how can I find the super soft when I keep having to listen to your complaints? You're always getting my way. Such harsh words. Dude, it's called reality. Yeah, just stop wasting time. Marcus already found everything. Yeah, he did. So just come back with him. 
Just come back to him. Oh, I shall follow you, princess. Yeah, I mean, it's her sworn duty to protect her and be with her. Oh, yeah? So you've seen Kuja before, haven't you? If... So you've seen him before, I mean. Yeah. Uh... So now that we have Celeste back... By the way, I gave her the method a lot. Rod. Now, the thing... I mean... I can work on her life and silence APs later on. Since life can actually re revive and silence it has to have. Megas hat? You don't need Megas hat anymore. Right? I mean, well, you have a lot of Seabot. We have a lot of Seabot has to left. But I guess I can just give it to. I'll just give it to. I'll just give you this for now. Um, let's worry about your abilities later on. Right now, hello, guards. But yeah. Get out of my way! <sighs> Now, let's go into the weapon shop, because it's a weapon shop. The weapon shop is a weapon... What, what the heck is that below us? Ugh, that looks ugly. I mean, what is that below us anyway? I mean, this is a weapon shop. Why do you have a freaking monster in here? The master of the night family who owns that this building keeps the monster as a pet. How inhumane. He likes to see people charge it and get beat up. Oh, at least it's not, you know... He likes to see people charge it and, and you know, see it beaten up. That would be unacceptable. But if, you know, people get beaten up, then that's acceptable, for sure. Let's sell all of these. Yeah, 90,000 girl. I feel so diabolical and bitchy. Re you remember me saying that a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So let me buy two... I mean, first of all, I do want to buy this for Steiner since he needs it. I I'm going to buy two lightning staff... Two lightning staffs, or staves, for... Some synthesis, because, you know, there's a synthesis shop here, so why not? Take advantage of it. Bone wrist is going to be, like, the next... Bone wrist and bandana is going to be the next step in terms of stuff to wear. Let's buy more of these dudes and these dudes. And I think I can just give one to Steiner right now. Let's see here. I'm going to equip off-screen, so excuse me. Okay, so Celeste has the bandana, which can allow her to learn Insomniac, which I did equip, equip on her so she can take advantage of it. Bone is better for her stats, and she can, you know, have better Earth Elemental attacks now that, that she needs it for now. And uh, she also said, I showed this to you before, yeah. And Steiner is now going to learn Armor Break with the Mithril Sword. Armor Break, I'll show it to you later on, but but I can replace this Mithril Gloves with this... The silver gloves, they're not as great as the mythical gloves, but they're good for learning Undead Killer, which I surprisingly didn't teach Steiner yet. And I gave Steiner the chain mail, so he can learn HP plus 10%, which is nice for him. So what is this armor brick again? Nice. Very nice. So that's it for the weapon shop. Uh, weapon shop, oh, weapon shops. So now we're done with this area. Time to go explore some more. This episode's all about the exploration. All of the exploration. <laughs> Thanks for that. I appreciate that. I appreciate it very much. Hello, anarchists. Uh, kids. Thinking they're gonna, like, do anarchy or, like, take over the government and all. Overthrow the government. Come on. They're ridiculous. It's not as if they can, like, destroy the world or anything like that. Oh, wow, one gale. Wow. You know, this will totally be an NCS moment. In fact, yeah. I did it. What's up with you, man? Man! Man! With a mohawk? This gotta be an easy way to make a quick buck. Like, getting a job. Not stealing, of course. Ooh, Taurus. Cool. So we have five Stellasio now. Right? Yeah, Taurus. Let's see here. Taurus had an idea. He would give Virgo a gift. Through the forest and over the mountain, he found a star? You're gonna give Virgo a star. Shouldn't it be burning you alive? I mean, the star would be much bigger than you. I don't know. I have a big problem with in terms of logic and stuff since I... I don't know. So I'm going to go back to the synthesis area. So excuse me. So I'm back at the synthesis shop. First of all, let's get the rest of our cotton robes. Although I do want to leave about... I think this is a good number to leave behind. Yeah. Now, what else do I want to make here? Let's see. Yeah, let's save. I want to make a Kachusha. Raises fire elemental attack. Sure, let's make this, baby. Now, what else do I want to make? Ooh, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Three coral rings. Because why not? That's why I got all those lightning staves. Staves. Steves. Whatever. And the gold choker. 
because, you know, who doesn't like choking gold? Apparently. Yeah. Actually, uh, I might buy a lightning staff off screen because I'm not sure if Vivi finished that lightning staff. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I'm, I, plan to, I plan to go back to the weapon shop anyway since I need to sell my cotton ropes and, you know, I need to buy. I need to. I, I need to take care of the monster below us because that monster bothers me, f to be honest. I want to kill it. I want to kill it. <sighs> Screw Peter. What's up with you, man? She didn't fall for my cheap. What well, duh? Women like real stuff. You bought Stella, Silver Queen Stella. If it not be fake, the bird lady. The bird lady. What? What is with birds and ladies and? Wait. Oh wow, you're a bird. They weren't lying. What's up with you, madam? Servant, please bring the stellas, y'all, to the queen whenever you find them. Are you a man or are you a woman? Because if you're a woman, you're, you're wearing a fine dress. If you're a man, you just look fabulous. So yeah. So basically, you give all of your stellas, you know, like, the names after the horoscopes, or like, the constellations, and you give them to Queen Stella in Treno. So, we're gonna, we're gonna get prizes one by one. First of all, Scorpio gives us... What does it give us? We get a thousand gil, and we have to do this again and again and again and again. So, let's give her cancer. Oh, that's so terrible. And for cancer, we get Phoenix Pinion. So, we get cancer, but we get something that brings us back to life. That's good to know, I guess. So, for Gemini, we get two thousand gil, which I guess is appropriate. Two thousand is two times one thousand, and Gemini is the twins, after all. So, for Taurus, we get the Blood Sword. I actually want to give this to Steiner right away. Now, I want to teach Steiner the Mythal Sword ability, but there's also the Black Blood Sword, which teaches the Dark Side. I want to give it to him right away because I want to use it as a, you know, for the next part. But yeah, I'm going to give her Ares. And Ares gives us a 5,000 gil! Yeah! And we don't have any more Stellasio, but we will collect more, so don't think it's all over. It, the fun has only begun. By the way, I want to give Steiner... Uh, what should I do for Steiner here? Um, I think he has... Oh, wait, wait, we did get a bunch of stuff, didn't we? Like the gold, like the gold choker. Choke some gold! And I actually want to modify his stats, abilities, which I'll show you once I get to the weapon shop. So I am back in the weapon shop, aka the Fight Club. But I gave Steiner the Blood Sword and the Gold Choker, which allows him to use Auto Potion. I gave, I equipped on him Bird Killer, and let's see here, Auto Potion. This is the other important one. It allows me to use the potion automatically after I get damaged, so it kind of assures that I get healed. And as you can tell by how I prepared Steiner, Steiner will be fighting the monster. So good on you, Steiner. You're the sacrifice. Good to, goodbye. You know, you should have just died when you just fell, but I'm... I think fate is just being nice to you, you know? Fate has just, you know, crapped on your pants long enough. But yeah, crapped on your pants long enough, what? So this dude is... I forgot to put Steiner in the front row. Oh, whatever. So I, could, I gave Steiner the blood sword because he can absorb HP. And I have the bird, at, you know, killer equipped so that he does extra damage to the bird. Since the bird is a, the bird, after all. The bird is evil. Now, Sander will get damaged, but he has auto potion, so that he will use a potion on himself automatically, so I don't have to heal myself every now and then. I can just focus on, on, on I can just focus on attacking. And the blood sword allows me to heal anyway, so I'm assured to be at full health every time I attack. So you're assured victory. If you don't get victory, then you suck, because that only took three freaking turns. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, you show him your biceps. Yeah! Unfortunately, you don't get any experience points or AP, but let's see what our prize is, because we've kicked that freaking bird's ass. A card. A freaking card. We did that bullshit for a card. Excuse me while I cry myself to sleep. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh... Well, I'm not sleeping, so I'm not gonna cry myself to sleep. But yeah, now I want to sell the rest of my cotton robes. Actually, I do want to keep one, but yeah, 
take a look at that money. I just... Take a look at how much money I have. Take a look at it. Yeah! Actually, I don't need to... Actually, I want to buy one light, lightning staff, just in case Vivi didn't learn everything from the lightning staff yet. But yeah, now all that's left is splurging all the money we have received. Because there is a reason why I wanted to gather so much money from the beginning of the game. First of all, let's save. Why not? It's a good practice. Saving with Mogrich. Mogrich. I don't think Mogrich contributes to the Magnet at all, so Mogrich can go screw himself, apparently. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, let's just save here. Man, that was a disc one save file. Man, that was so long ago. And 12 gameplay hours ago. Wow, I just have no life. Yeah, I have no life. Yeah. So let's go into the auction house, shall we? Now there's a crap ton of items I want to buy. Today's items are a Griffin's hot. Ew. Dog is artifact and an Unus mirror and a claimed Ooh, the reflect the reflect ring. So basically I want to buy I kinda want to do the auction house like you do in Wind Waker. Don't bid until the very, 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 very end of the auction. And then although in Wind Waker, you kind of I guess auction you know bid for a ridiculous price at the very end to stun everybody but for here you just want to wait until the very end until you can strike with just a, f a single bid that's a hundred gil higher than the previous bid so it can be guaranteed victory this is what this is what you call s sniping it's cheap but you can be assured to win items now there are some items that are important at all that are not important at all like the griffin's heart for example but the thing is, there are some items that get unlocked as you buy more items, so it's recommended, so it's recommended that you buy more items. Also, some items are key items and they're just fun, so yeah. I'm going to get some items, so yeah. Oh, come on! Alright, I got the Doga's Artifact for 82,000 gil. Now, Unis Mirror. Okay, so the Unis Mirror is going up to like 13,400 gil, so I don't, think, I don't think that's worth it this time. I'll pass on the Unis mirror for now. I'll wait for it the next time. Just to see if it's bid for a lower price. Because this is this is too high for the mirror. Alright, so let's see if I can get the reflect ring for only 7900 gil. Oh wow, I got it for a freaking cheap price. Considering how... The thing is... The reflect ring is possibly one of the most important items you can get from the auction house. And I got it for a cheap price. Nice. So... Here's the thing why I wanted to get so much money for the auction house. You can get some accessories from this place that allow that allow you to learn some unique abilities that you cannot learn from other items. And the thing is, a lot of these abil like basically basically well let's say that this isn't this is something I just want to learn. Something I want to learn. Actually I don't need reflect but I just want to learn it because I want to make sure everybody learns reflect gradually and naturally so and I think it's better to start early with learning stuff like Reflect or, you know, other stuff. And I'm going to be getting more accessories that allow me to learn more abilities that I can learn more naturally if I start now rather than, rather than later. But in order for me to start now, I had to do the cotton note trick to get more money than I should. So, yeah, suck it. So I bought for 18,000, 1800 gil, gil, a mini Sid. Yeah, I got a mini Sid, like... A miniature version of Uncle Sid? What? May this flesh turn into clay. May the blood turn into water. God of chaos trap this soul forever in this form. Uh, okay, I, get, I think you're a bit obsessed. Fear its soul, for it knows not her. Beatrix. Okay, that's very scary. Considering how much danger she is as a swordswoman. We saw firsthand, didn't we? We seek magic as a way of life. We create dreams after life. Ooh, that's very deep. So yeah, next item, shall we bid? Let's get the fairy earrings, shall we? You know what? I think this is a bit too high for me to... Yeah, I think this is a bit too high for me to buy the fairy earrings, earrings for. I'll wait for until... I'll, I'll wait for another chance for the fairy earrings. So I just got for 8,000 gil the Maidane's ring, which will be pretty useful. In fact, I'm gonna... Uh, actually, I want to give it to Celeste later, but the Pearl, Pearl Rouge. Ooh, that's interesting. So for 17,300 gil, I got the Pearl Rouge, which I will want to give to Celeste. Basically, this is 
pretty interesting. I'm getting I'm getting a lot of accessories from this place. Thank God. So I learned level. Well, first of all, does it have any effects that might be beneficial for me? Uh, let's see. There's that. But what can Silas equip now? There's reflect. No. I can. We'll have. We'll. Now this is something to focus on. So what's something I want to screw? I'll screw you. Yeah. So let's e exit and then come back inside. You know, whenever I think of Treno, this is the place I always think of because it's so pompous and so pompous. I always think of this room because it's so freaking pompous. It's irritating. So for 6700 gil, I got the magician robe. I do want to get more magician robes. Ooh, fairy earrings. Let me try again. Did someone just buy the fairy earrings for 9900 gil? You guys suck. So for 11,500 gil, I got the Une's mirror, which is a key item once again. Now, I think the Doga artifact in the Une mirror can unlock a special Easter egg in the game. The body may perish, but the spirit lives on. How deep. I think that may be a reference to a previous Final Fantasy game. Maybe? Maybe, I don't know. So I may notice how much money I spent, but I got everything I wanted. Two fairy earrings, two magician robes, and all of those items I mentioned. Now I did get those fairy earrings, one for like about 8700 gil, but one for 5900 gil, so you can see how varied the distribution of gil can be for a certain item, depending on, on, on how shitty your luck is. I was, my luck was pretty shitty for the fairy earrings, but in the end it all worked out. You know, it's all good. I mean, I, I made enough money anyway with the cotton rope trick, so yeah. Insurance, man. Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And stuff like that. I don't know. Car insurance can be pretty useful sometimes. Like one time when I was almost got into an accident. Basically, it was a bad tire incident on the freeway, so... It could have been dangerous when my, tar when my tire just got ripped apart. So, it was scary, but... You know, I survived. I survived. I survived. I mean, nothing really happened. I wasn't hurt, and nobody got hurt. It was just my car was like, it was just scary. I was just saying that. So we're supposed to meet Marcus here, right? I mean, Marcus was here after all. Hello, Marcus. We're back. We just finished exploring and doing absolutely nothing to help out. He said we can get some useful items. Was here. Wanted. Ten thousand gil reward to whoever catches him. Who? Who? Oh, it's some dude with red hair and green skin, and the red hair looks like snakes. But that's very vivid. We're ready to retrieve. Oh, see, Marcus did find it. We did absolutely nothing. We can leave right away. So you're coming along, huh? Are you ready? Sure. Let's go right now. Princess, weren't you just with me, Steiner? Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna ditch you. You're not important. Boss is waiting at the dock. Boss? You mean? Yep. There's only one man you call boss. I mean, we, you've met him before. You should know him. So yes, let's just go down this side-scrolling portion of the level. No, get him. No, I don't want to listen to you being like, it's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap. You're not General Akbar. Nobody can be General. Oh, hello, Baku, what's up? Princess, do you know that breaking an entrance is a crime? S screw that. Wait, how's Marcus behind me? I need to make sure you don't steal anything else. That's what they all say. Then you become a thief. Damn it, I'm coming along. It is my duty to protect this princess from bad influence. Do whatever you want. I was thinking what I was talking about your duty. Ain't you got any thoughts of your own? Oh, you just got told, Steiner. You just, you just were told that you weren't independent at all. Don't you talk back to me. I'm escorting the princess. Yeah, 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 escorting the princess. That's what you say every single time. I think I might have changed after traveling with Zidane, but you ain't changed. Do you even know why you're here? Besides protecting the princess, by the way. W what do you mean? Yeah, let's just get this over with in the next video. So see ya. Bye.